Hello, this is Craig, the carpet cleaner guy. I'm here with the airflow regulator, a prototype. I used it in the video called Testing CFM from Exhaust. It is made of PVC with uh, common parts you can buy at the local hardware store. I've gone to the hardware store tonight and I picked up everything that I need to assemble a prototype system just like this one that I have here except for it has a little bit of different configuration. I recommend that uh, it be made out of metal with uh, cooling uh, capacity uh, for like aluminum or copper. Um, this way you can have uh, shorter hoses. These, these long hoses here are two inches. They're about four feet and it kind of cools the air that blows into the third vacuum motor through this port here. This is a check valve. This is a backwater drain device. These are guides. When the air rushes out of this this backwater drain device here, it, it, it flopped around and then I put these guides here and I had no problem since. Um, since this is always straight up and you're inside or if you're outside and you have a lot of loud noise coming out of there, you mostly hear the CFM blowing through there. You can put a sock or a towel or something and then you secure this here and it will keep it a little bit quieter. It will also prevent any kind of water or foam blowing on the ceiling if you're using it inside. And I'll tell you, if you've got foam coming out of your system here with two motors blowing full force, you're going to have mud on the ceiling. <clears throat> this is all 2 inch PVC pipe. This here is a 2 inch PVC pipe. Uh, it's about 2 feet long. I had to buy this because I'll, I'll probably cut it here and use it as a coupling device. You cannot find good couplers at the store so you have to make your own. This here is also a coupling device. This is a 4x2 coupler made out of rubber with two band clamps. You tighten these and it will hold these very securely. This here, backwater drain device. This is where the air escapes. It's spring loaded. It's uh, it compresses by these screws here. You set it in here, and it will fit pretty snug if you tighten those screws uh, appropriately. And then you put it in this coupler here. And um, you'll have a setup like this. You have to keep it vertical. Um, I don't think it will work too well laying on its side or upside down. I haven't tried it, but I don't think it will. This here is a half a pound spring in this device here. This is a check valve. This will help restrict the air going to, to the third vacuum motor. You don't want the air to go to the third vacuum motor because it will spin it too fast, draw amps, heat up, and pop a breaker. That's my experience using booster vacuum motors on a parallel setup. And it ultimately brought me to this idea here. The exhaust from the two parallel vacs will blow out here and it will be restricted by the check valve so your back end motor should be fine and it will still work even though this check valve takes a lot of pressure to open it. You have to have three stage vacuum motors or something that has over 100 inches of water left or I don't think it will pull that device open. This here is about $13 this is about seven. This is about five. This is about three fifty. This is about five. 
This is about fourteen dollars and six fifty. You'll probably want to take the uh, the screw out here, take it off that piece of rubber there, and you'll want to put a piece of uh, or you'll want to put some glue on the end of that screw there, and then screw it back in about a quarter inch. You want as much play as you can get. You want this to be as open as much as you can to relieve the pressure of the two front vacuum motors and the restrictor of the uh, check valve. The check valve restricts the air going into the third back and this relieves the pressure from going into the third back. That's why I think this system works well with a three vacuum motor system. Mm. If you have any questions you can um, talk to me on truck mount forms or you can ask a question on Google YouTube video. You will have to cut this off here and this off here. This here is also, this is what I use as a guide. When this is compressed here and fit to the end of this pipe, <clears throat> you'll want to take this piece here, it's a quarter inch and you'll want to put it on each one of these screws and then cut it off to about here. Make it about two inches long and that will help this from flopping around and possibly getting hung up. Alright, have a good day.